Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make the easiest cauliflower pizza. So if you guys would like to learn how I make it, please keep watching. So I'm going to start off by preheating my oven to 425 degrees and kind of let that run while I work on the crust. So for the crust, you're going to need shredded cheese, Parmesan cheese, cauliflower, fresh garlic, an egg, and of course salt and pepper. So I actually only like to use half a cauliflower, which is about two cups of cauliflower. And you're going to just want to cut your cauliflower in half, wash it really well, and then you're going to cut it into small chunks. Then I'm going to take these big pieces and put them in my food processor and then run my food processor until all of these big pieces turn into really tiny, almost confetti-like um, texture. You want it to be really, really fine because what we're trying to do is, of course, turn this into our dough so you want to get rid of all the big chunks if your food processor gets stuck like mine just did just go ahead and use a spoon kind of just to move the cauliflower around and you should be perfectly fine once you're done with your food processor this is the consistency of what the cauliflower should look like as you guys can see it's like really soft and like I said it looks almost like confetti anyway from there I'm going to take all of my cauliflower and put it in a big pot and I am going to cook this no water no olive oil nothing just by itself for about five to six minutes and this is going to help absorb the extra moisture after your cauliflower is done cooking like I said for about five to six minutes let it cool completely as you guys can see I was touching it so it was completely cool and then you're gonna put all of your cauliflower on either a paper towel or a kitchen towel I usually will use a kitchen towel I just didn't have one this time so I just used a paper towel and then you're going to strain all of the water and this is such an important step because your crust won't bind as well if all of this water stays in there so make sure you squeeze all the water and get it all out of the cauliflower and this is going to help really make our crust nice delicious and help it bind together so this is what the um, cauliflower looks like it definitely does look like an actual dough at this point so now we're gonna start to really season it and for that I'm gonna start off by chopping some fresh garlic you can also use um, garlic powder I'm gonna add my Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna add my shredded cheese. You can use mozzarella or Parmesan, whatever you like better. I'm also going to add an egg. I like to add a lot of pepper because my husband and I love peppers. So just add it to your taste as well as salt. And then you're going to mix everything together and make sure all of the ingredients really are very mixed in together. Um, I sometimes will just go in with my hands because it is so much easier to work with. So as you guys can see here, all of the ingredients are mixed in with one another and ready to be turned into an actual crust for my crust I actually like to use parchment paper which I do spray down with olive oil you don't have to spray it down that's just a personal preference and then I'm gonna start working on my crust and the whole thing to remember with the crust is to make sure it's not too thin or not too thick because if it's too thin it's going to burn and if it's too thick it's not going to cook properly so once you're done working on your crust you're just going to stick this in the oven and leave it there for about 10 minutes while we wait for our pizza crust to be done we're gonna start working on the pizza sauce which is so simple to make and for that you're going to need um, petite diced tomatoes I really recommend this brand um, I will list in the down bar you're also going to need chopped onions garlic salt and pepper basil oregano and um, crushed red pepper that's just personal preference because I love anything spicy but you can skip that I'm gonna start off by putting my diced tomatoes in my food processor to really get rid of that chunky texture again that's a personal preference because I don't like a chunky pizza sauce but if you do leave it as is and you can use your tomatoes right out of the can but I'm gonna heat up two tablespoons of olive oil and in that I'm going to add my onions my oregano my basil and my crushed red pepper again the crushed red pepper I like a lot of it because I love anything spicy and the spicier the better for me but again you will add that to your taste and then just mix it and cook it up for about 45 seconds to a minute and then add your garlic and this is going to prevent the garlic from burning because we don't want to cook the garlic for a long time so after about 45 seconds I went ahead and added my tomatoes and I'm gonna let this cook for about five minutes uh, nothing longer than that you do want to cover it up and stir occasionally and your pizza sh sauce should be ready to go the best part about it is if you have any extra made at all you can store it in a mason jar and just freeze it for it to use next time so don't waste any just 
freeze it and use it for next time. So it's been about 10 minutes and our crust is ready to put all of the toppings on it. So of course I'm going to start off with the pizza sauce that we just made and I don't like to add too much pizza sauce because then it becomes soggy so just the right amount. Uh, I don't really know how to explain how much to add but you guys can see how much I'm adding here. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some mozzarella cheese. Now I do love cheese so I do add a good amount of the mozzarella cheese but again this is just a personal preference. If you don't like too much cheese don't add too much and if you like a lot of cheese like me add a lot of cheese. I also add some parmesan as well on top. So now I'm going to just finish off by adding some fresh vegetables starting off with really thin slices of tomatoes. If you prefer just a plain pizza you're going to just skip all of the vegetables and just stick it in the oven without the toppings. Um, for 10 minutes but of course I went ahead and added the tomato as well as some basil and then I'm gonna put this in the oven and um, let that sit there for another 10 minutes and that really is it for the cauliflower pizza you guys it is so easy to make and so delicious and I actually can't even tell the difference between the cauliflower crust and a regular crust now please do remember that I am no professional in the kitchen. This was just a really highly requested video so I thought I would share with all of you. And if you guys enjoyed watching, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye everyone!